Alright, so my hubby is, Walt is trying these Weight Watcher brownies. And I think that's your second or your third? This <laughs> Let's is be my honest. Third. That's his third. He says they're good. They but are he, really good. But you said that you didn't think they were four points each good. If I was counting points at this time, which I'm not, right? they would not be worth four points. <laughs> but they are good. But he does want to know how many points there are so he can still track them and gauge them and see what he's doing. But he's not, let's just say he's he's not frightened by points, whereas I am very respectful of the points. So he does not respect the points. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. Usually he does. <laughs> so he asked me if I wanted some. They smell amazing. They smell like mint. Um, they, actually, they are so good. They actually smell like Girl Scout cookie mint cookies. Uh, thin mints. But no, I don't want them. I, I'd like something sweet. I just finished my dinner and I think I'm done. But only the steak only had like 10.4 grams of protein in it. And I don't think that's enough for me. Um, and so I just need a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have a little bit of PB2, which I have not had in about a week. Um, so I'll probably have that on crackers or something like that. But no, there's no way I want to use four points on that, I don't think. I don't know. Are you going to have another one? No. Oh. Are you going to try any of the other the things? The guilt. Are you going to try the coffee cake or the yeah. chocolate chip cookie? We'll try those and then we'll see what you think about that. Okay. Are you ready to try another box? Oh, wait. You want to talk about that a little bit? This. Okay. Um, how much are they? Uh, like I don't know how much they really are, but I found them at the dollar store. Oh, so. oh score then. <laughs> However yeah. you look at it, I got a great deal. Okay, at 80 calories each, I just had 240 <laughs> calories. For, for each one? No, for three. Oh, for three. And, okay. um... That's not too bad. And at one time when I was, was developing meals for myself, you know, 500 calories... Um, um, was a, was a good meal. It was um, a, a larger meal yeah. out of you know the four or five meals that I would have during a day. Five hundred was the highest caloric content. So right there was half of a meal at two hundred and forty calories. Oh yeah, not worth it. But very good chocolate ganache. That did stop him from eating three of them. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. Sound pretty good to me. Coffee so, cake with Greek yogurt. All right, so try one of those, and then we'll see if you like it. Well, that's a lot bigger than the brownie is. It is. The brownie, like, was so tiny. I, I, I said, what is that, a mint? And he's like, no, this is the brownie. But he said it was kind of like oh, chocolate good. ganache wrapped around a cake, so it was pretty chocolate. It was pretty chocolatey. It was, I'm a chocolate kind of guy. Oh, nice. Uh, blueberry brownie. Or no, blueberry. That smells good. <laughs> coffee cake. <clears throat> 100 calories. Okay. For this little guy. And they're, they're both four points a piece, so. And there's... Blueberry. Yeah. It's got a sugary type top. Oh, like that, a crumbled mm -hmm. topping or something like that. And blueberries inside. That's pretty good. He's not really a coffee cake type person. I mean, I've made so many of them over the years for him. And they're like top notch, you know, wonderful coffee cakes. But he's like, eh. You know, it's just, he's either a coffee cake person or you're not. And he's not really a coffee cake person. So, I mean, it's, so I don't know. They're a little dry. Coffee cakes are supposed to be dry. Mm -hmm. You dip it in the coffee? I don't know about dipping, but you it like, take a, a bite and yeah, then yeah. drink some coffee. Bite and sip. Yeah. If um if if we gave the uh, brownies a eight on a scale of one to ten, then the uh, blueberry uh, coffee cake comes in at about a five and maybe a yeah, four, really a four. Really? Yeah. I bet I would like it. Wanna try it? I know how many points a bite is. Five bites. Let me try it. Our puppy dog is just like wanting a bite so eight and a half. Point eight five points. Kind of reminded me, kind of reminds me of, um, oh, I don't know. And it's missing that, of course, it's missing that sugary zing, you know, but it reminds me of the an angel food cake, kind of with a little bit more stickiness. Almost like one of the blondie brownies that they serve at the buffet. But those blondies are more substantial for some reason mm. or something. They're a little thicker. But um, I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It's just I probably wouldn't use four points on it. I don't think I would. I wouldn't. We have chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, you want to try one of those? You want it? Um, you try it and then I'll think about it. Because <laughs> I don't know if I want to track it tonight. <laughs> but um, he's opening the box of chocolate chip cookies. You see the wa Weight Watchers box? Four points again. 100 calories. <clears throat> oh, 90 calories for this one. Okay. Let's see the cookie itself. That's not bad size, I guess, for the cookie. The problem is with cookies is that it's very hard to eat just one cookie. And, um, for me anyway. It's hard for me to eat just one of any kind of sweet. I need to put him out. Hold on. Harris was begging for the cookie. <laughs> so. Uh. 
All right, yeah, my problem is that it's very hard for me to stop. Um, I just would rather stay away from something like that unless I have a day where I'm going to go ahead and just go, you know what I mean? I can have two, two or three and not worry about it. And today's not that day. Yesterday for me was that day when we went to the buffet and I felt comfortable doing that. And so I don't want to do it again until then. Otherwise I, I won't, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, uh, you know those, uh, those soft baked cookies we used to get like years ago where, you know, Oh, you like mean um, Keebler or something? Right, like, Nabisco soft yeah, bake. Yeah, a little softer. Yeah, than, Chips Ahoy. Yeah, well, I Chips Ahoy. I remember Chips Ahoy being kind of crunchy, but no, they had a soft okay. version. Yeah, I would get those instead of this one. Right. You know, <clears throat> well, you got it at the dollar store. That's great, but no, it's, it wouldn't be worth it to me to spend. Probably, what do you think a box normally would cost? Like six bucks I don't know. or something? You know, I have to look it up. Oh, no, no, not six bucks. If anything, probably like maybe four. I don't know, maybe two something, two ninety nine or something. But I'm taking a guess. I don't know. I'm, I would have to go and see. I think it's great that they make things that, you know what I mean, that can fit well within points. If somebody wants something like that, and yeah, you can but eat four one points. Cookie, then yeah, but I mean, you know what? I would say is to not have just the one cookie because usually a lot of times in Europe, maybe they'll serve like fruit and cake. I would say have like, if I was going to have this, I would have like the coffee cake with a plate of fruit, some cherries maybe, and some mm -hmm. little tangerines and some hot tea. You That's would. like a whole dessert and that just, it all complements each other. That's how I would do this. Um, probably the brownies, what I would do with the brownies is I would take the brownie itself and I would cut it up and I would use it as a topping like on some Halo Top ice cream or something that's, I've got, what's the other one that I use? It's Arctic Ice I think, which is like one point for a half a cup. And then I would use this as like a fancy topping on top of that and dress it, but I wouldn't make it about the brownie. I would make the brownie an accompaniment. And same thing with the chocolate chip cookie. I would bust that sucker up and put it on something else substantial. That way I can still get a flavor and I kind of like feel like I'm getting something. But I do that a lot where instead of like making a nacho salad, I will make a salad and I will take like five corn chips and I will put those on top broken. So I still get the flavor, but I don't get all the bad stuff that goes with it. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think <clears throat> I am a, uh, I, I love chocolate. I love good chocolate. You know, I'll even eat uh, subpar chocolate. But uh, this is a good chocolate treat right here. It's good. And you know what? If, if I was, I, if I really wanted something for a snack, chocolatey snack, I would use four points on the brownie. Hmm. I don't think the, uh, the blueberry yeah. coffee cake is worth it. And I definitely don't think the cookie's worth it. It even tastes like a diet cookie, actually. Wow. To me. My favorite would probably be this one. Well, let, you know, granted, this is the only one I took a bite out of. Yeah, you so. didn't try the chocolate. No, but this is me. I'm a coffee cake person. You want to try the chocolate? Well, I kind of do, but I don't really want to, you know, go there right now because then it might, like, drive me insane, so. Probably would. <laughs> it's, it's real good. I could eat a box of these easily. easily. <laughs> I'm going to have some PB2 and a couple of crackers. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to have for dessert now to bump up my protein tonight. So, there we go. All right, I'm done. Too. All right. I guess if I really want to be indulgent, I would, like, spread a brownie on top of the crackers on top of the peanut butter, which wouldn't be a bad idea. You know what I could do is take half a brownie, spread it on top of the peanut butter on top so I get peanut butter and chocolate, and then it's only two points for the brownie on top of that. Right? I might just try that. All right. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So is this worth it? I've got uh, one, two, three, four for, for two crackers, uh, serving a PB2, and then half of the brownie on top of my crackers. Is that worth it? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good with a cup of coffee. It's a nice little dessert, this. And I might even have some berries afterward for zero points. So um, there you go. <laughs> My way of doing it. <laughs>